Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars in, in the Indianapolis, uh, the local Muslims and some lawmakers are up in arms over this billboard. I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to shrink it back down. Uh, married six years old, slave owner and dealer, rapist, he had 600 Jews in one day, 13 wives, 11 at one time, tortured and killed non-unbelievers. And the bottom it says, uh, educate truthophobes. Uh, an anti-Muslim billboard disparaging Prophet Muhammad that can be seen from southbound lanes of I-465 on the east side is drawing concern from local Muslims. It doesn't talk about Muhammad. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Now, so that is a lie. It doesn't talk specifically about him. Now, Islamic leaders in Indianapolis are challenging those responsible for what they say are un offensive and untrue statements, stand by the words, shed their anonymity, and explain their motivations. It's a horrible billboard. I'm outraged by it, but sad at the same time. And I'd like to know who's behind it, said Rim Shahid. Executive Director of the Muslim Alliance of Indiana. It seems very cowardly to me. You have some have to take some kind of stance, and you have to stand up for your statement. I don't think there was any room for hate in our city. Billboard to me is offensive. Okay, I got interrupted there. At any rate, she says, Billboard, which she saw on Southbound I-465 near Washington Street exit was brought to her attention Friday by an anonymous tipster. An all-black billboard had as a headline of the perfect man underneath our six bullet points described man, married six years old, sleep owner and dealer, 13 wives, 11 and one time, so on. At the bottom of the billboard, and y'all says, educate truth pubs. And we'll go there quickly, show you. There is such a website. Right there it is. Uh... Of course, the commie liberals are and the rhinos. Indiana Representative Andre Carson, who is a commie liberal, says he believes the billboard is untrue and the billboard's author takes Islamic text and history out of context, just like Al Qaeda, ISIS, and the Klan do the religious texts to justify the bigotry. And on um, Monday evening, Republican Rhino Indiana Senator Todd Young tweeted his disapproval of the sign. This is beneath us, disturbing and divisive. Displays like this incite and offend rather than educate. Well, I'm very sorry. It doesn't mention Muhammad or anybody else or anything else specifically. So what are you going to do about it? And this name's not going to work, so I'm just going to call him FK. A spokeswoman, her FK, a spokeswoman for an Indianapolis based Islamic Society in North America, says not only is the billboard not true, it's hurting her as a practicing Muslim. To K, the most dis disappointing aspect of the sign is that it could incite hate crimes toward. Muslims or people perceived to be Muslim. And they go on to bitch and bitch and bitch and bitch about it. Y you know, here's what I say about this. Too bad. What are you going to do about it? You can't even prove anything other than this. It is linked to 
Get truth bold sight. That's about all you can prove. I don't know what you can do about it other than sit there and complain. My attitude towards this, I gotta tell you right now, my attitude is too bad. Too bad. I'm on Facts Mars. And if you're offended, it's too bad. Thanks for watching.